Yo guys, welcome back to Leadfoot TV. I'm Ash. Um, as you probably know, we um, hit 2,000 subscribers, which is absolutely awesome. Really, really cool. I never thought it would get to 2,000 subscribers. So I thought I'd do a QA. and um, I asked a couple of questions, asked people to send me questions on Instagram and uh, YouTube. Um, and I thought I'd answer them for the 2,000, to mark the 2,000 subscribers. And and it kind of rhymes 2k q and a <laughs> so um yeah let's just jump straight to it so um sokoto 16 on instagram asked me what's what was the best thing about owning a micro uh the reliability to be honest uh it just gave it depth all the time and, and nothing ever went wrong with it um yeah reliability and just um the amount that people underestimate them as well is probably <laughs> one of the one of the other thing, great things about owning it, no one ever expects it them to be as quick as they are. Um, yeah, and then from Meeks at Jap Junk, Jap Junk, uh, he said, "I'm sure if it's been asked before, but what's your favourite car you've owned or driven?" So the f best car I've ever owned was my Honda Prelude, which I've mentioned before and the uh, my fourth generation one which was the second fourth generation one i owned um yeah 2.2 v uh it was an import so it was an si um yeah i love that car it was it was absolutely awesome like by far the best car i've ever owned and uh best car i've driven Probably the most exciting car I've ever driven was the first car I ever drove after I passed my test, which was um, a Nissan Pulsar GTIR. It was running about 400 horsepower. I'd just rebuilt it at work. It was the first like major job I'd done at work and um, when I was doing my apprenticeship as a mechanic, and I'd just done a head gasket on it and they let me take it out i don't think they quite ex knew what it was when they said it. they agreed to let me drive it um i'm not sure if it was just stupidly exciting because i'd never dr even driven anything other than a fiat bravo at that time so um but yeah i loved uh, that was a pretty exciting experience um so i got a couple of questions from dan ayp um yeah meeks as well meeks is from jap junk the jap junk you youtube channel go check him out i'll drop a link to his channel in, down below and dan a dan ayp also has his own youtube channel which is dan ayp i'll stick a link to his in the description as well um he's asked me what car did you have on your bedroom wall uh <laughs> i had quite a lot of cars on my bedroom wall so uh, i had a viper dodge viper that was always my dream car since playing uh, the first ever Grand Theft Auto because it was the fastest car on the game and I kind of got a little bit obsessed with them after that um, and then I, I liked um, Test Drive 5 on the PlayStation 1 and my favorite car on that was the Dodge Viper as well so I always had a bit of a, an obsession with the Dodge Viper um, I had an R34 GTR on my wall I had the Mitsubishi Evo off Too Fast Too Furious and uh, what else did I have? I had a Lamborghini Countach or Countach or whatever, however you say it. Um, yeah. And then he's asked me what my ideal build would be. So a car that I've wanted to build for quite a long time. Um, just because I've always really wanted an S2000, but I don't fit in one. And I kind of don't really like the idea of having a car without a roof. <laughs> um so I've always wanted to build an AE86 with, uh, with an F20C S2000 engine in it. Um, I, I know it wouldn't be particularly ridiculously fast. I just think it as a driver's car, it would be an absolutely mental, awesome car. Um, yeah, so that's something I've always wanted to do. It's always been at my back of my mind. Whether I'll ever actually do it, I don't know. But um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so another question is from Jibriel Messia. I'll stick his, <laughs> I'll write that at the bottom of the screen because I can't pronounce that. Um, he's asked what engine mods have, have you done to your uh, 1JZ? Nothing myself at the moment. Currently it is just absolutely stock apart from the front mount intercooler and the induction kit and uh, boost controller. I think the boost's been turned up a bit on it. Probably a little bit too much, to be honest. Um, 
I'm probably not going to do a great deal to it straight away. I'd like to get a decat and an exhaust system, get a boost controller in it and a boost gauge so that I can see what see what boost I'm running properly and just get it not set up nice. It, it pulls really well as it is, so I don't want to go too mad with it straight away. Maybe later down the line I'll go a little bit, bit more extreme. But um, So another question is from I Can See Your Socks <laughs> on Instagram. He's asked, why did you get rid of the Mazda, Mazda 3 MPS? Uh, it just wasn't the right car for me, to be honest. Uh, it was a great, it was a great car, really, really, really good car. I can't, I, I have absolutely nothing bad to say about it. It just, I just never really connected it. I've, I've always had a little bit of a thing with front wheel drive turbo cars where I just, um, they just don't do it for me. I don't know why. <laughs> um, another question from makes at jap junk <laughs> um has asked me is there forever a, a forever car if you bought you'd never get rid of um uh, hope there's quite a few of, of those actually um one being mile 32 skyline i don't think i'll ever sell that um what else if i had a Mercedes 190 Evo. <laughs> that, 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 I wouldn't sell one of those. Um, an R34 GTR as well. Uh, yeah, there's probably quite a few cars that I wouldn't sell if I got hold of them. Uh, second question is, can I have a ride in the Crown? Yeah, that's fine. If you ever see me in the Crown, just come over and say hi and we'll, uh, I'll take you out in it. Uh, question from my cousin, Elliot. Sky Bros for Life on YouTube. Um, he has asked, uh, "Is the, what's your favourite car ever? Uh, probably the Dodge Viper, uh, Dodge Viper or one uh, Mercedes one hundred and ninety Evo. Um, I like both of them just as much." <laughs> uh, Cr Mercer on you on Instagram or Chris Mercer. <laughs> um, has asked what would win in a drag racer, a quarter mile drag racer, Ignis Sport or a Honda CRZ? Uh, <laughs> I don't know, to be honest. I've never driven a Honda CRZ, surprisingly. Um, I've driven an Ignis Sport and everybody knows they're the fastest things in a, in, in the corners ever, but they are uh, yeah, not particularly fast in a straight line, so I'd probably say the CRZ. Um, where we've got a question from Hydraulics on YouTube. Ask me what's my favorite sounding engine ever. I'm not a huge supercar fan. Like they just don't do, do a lot for me. But when I was at Goodwood Festival of Speed, the Ferrari FX XK was um, going up the hill. And that sounded absolutely insane. And that is probably the best car I've ever heard in my life. Um, so yeah. I'll, I'll try and find a snippet of that because I did get it on video and it sounds incredible, but I did film it on my phone. So it probably doesn't sound as good as it did in real life. Um, yeah. So, and then got one from Consistently Broken, um, which is Lee Staker. He's asked me, <laughs> do I specifically buy these cars I've owned recently or do you just see them pop up and think that's cool, I'll buy it? Going from a 1.3 Rusty Micro to a 1JZ powered monster is quite a difference. Um, so, uh, yeah, a bit of both, to be honest. I, I, I went out to specifically find the Micro because I wanted to build a cheap budget track car. Um, so, yeah, I actually specifically went out to, to find the Micro. Uh, same again with my Skyline. I'd been looking out for a Skyline for ages. The Crown just popped up and I just thought it was sick and I just I just bought it. And and to be honest, most cars before before my Skyline and the Micro, I just bought because they just popped up and I, <laughs> I like the look of them. Um, there was no real, real reasoning behind them um, other than the that they just kind of caught my eye so yeah mo most of the time i'm i don't really look for a car it just pops up and if i've got some money and or i'm in the right position financial position to buy it then i'll buy it um so a couple more off youtube um from uh you got another one from hydraulics asking any car mates that i know of coming up 
Um, not really. <laughs> if I'm being to, I don't. There's not a lot I know of. Uh, I think there's a there's a track day at Three Sisters on uh, like an arrive and drive track attack thing on the seventh of December. I think that is the only thing that I've got that I'm going to coming up this year. Um, and it's kind of weather dependent. If the weather's all right, I'll go to that. If not, then I'm probably going to go to Grisdale Rally because that is on the same day. Um, yeah, the moaning Yorkshireman asked me, what's your favorite Twix fudge or curly whirly? Um, and fudge is definitely up there, but I'd have to say curly whirly. <laughs> um, but it's pretty close between fudge and curly whirly. Um, have you started my Christmas shopping yet? It is the 8th of November, so I have got a good month and two weeks <laughs> to start my shopping yet. Um, if you had to pick just one of your cars from your current fleet to keep, which would it be? Um, probably my R32 Skyline. But I, I have kind of grown a bit of an attachment to the Crown, so it would it would be a hard decision. But I think the I think the Skyline is a forever car. I don't see me ever getting rid of that. So yeah, how long's a piece of string? Is his fourth question. Um, I don't know. Don't have a piece of string to tell you. <laughs> um, do you prefer Christmas or New Year? Definitely Christmas. Um, New Year's always a massive disappointment. <laughs> so, um, and then my last question is from Ben Berry, who has asked this because uh, Ben Berry is like one of my best, well, my best friend probably, and um, has asked me to list every single car I've ever owned, which took me quite a while. So I've written a small list. Um, I have actually <laughs> planned on doing a video on this um, and I thought about like splitting it up into a series because it's quite a long list and I've done the best to remember every one that I've had but I've definitely missed some off here. Um, if you'd like to see me do like a full on video series of all my cars and why I bought them and a little bit of what I did to them, um, probably split them off up into like a video of 10 cars at a time because um, yeah, I've had quite a lot. <laughs> so um, every car I've ever owned, this is definitely not every car I've ever owned, but it's close. Um, so I started off in timeline order and then kind of just veered off all over the place because it was too hard to keep it in timeline order. So um, I've had two Mark II Golfs, a Renault 5 GT Turbo, seven, yeah, seven third generation Civics, one EG Civic Coupe, one EG Civic uh, Hatch. Actually, I've had two EG Civic Hatches. Um, two EG, uh, no, one EG9 SIR, which is a, um, a saloon um, v, like VTI import type thing, uh, two Mark II CRXs, three Mark I CRXs, two Mark III Supras, two 4G fourth generation preludes, two fifth generation preludes, an S13 200SX, E46 BMW, Subaru Forester STB, uh, Civic EP3, uh, RX7 FC, an RX8, six K11 Micras, uh, a Mark III Golf, a Fiat Panda with an Uno turbo engine, a uh, Peugeot Partner Van, a Vectra, a uh, Vectra B, I think it was. I've got an R32 Skyline, Toyota Crown, FN2 Civic, two fourth generation Civic hatches, four fourth generation Civic sedans, three EK Civic. Uh, hatchbacks, four Vauxhall Novas, an MC2 Civic VTI Aero Deck, a real uh, Honda Shuttle that was converted to rear wheel drive, a 1G uh, first generation Honda Integra, a 6N2 Polo, a Mazda 3 MPS, a Mark 6 Escort, a Seat Ibiza, a Seat Cordoba Estate. Uh, Volkswagen Passat Mark III, Toyota MR2, Honda, uh, I've actually had two Honda Concertos, uh, an Accord Coupe, a Peugeot 306 D Turbo, a Lexus LS400, and I think that is it. That's all I can remember at the moment, but I, I think there's probably a good 20 cars that I've forgotten of there. So yeah, that is all my cars. Um, yeah, that's my Q&A for today. <laughs> um, I just thought it'd be a fun little thing to do. I have got couple of videos lined up we're hopefully going to buy the the race car for the um endurance race that we're doing at three uh not three sisters at driftland um hopefully going to buy that next week so um we still haven't 
totally decided what car we're going to get but we've got a couple in mind so it really just depends on what we can find close to here um so yeah that's going to be exciting get buying that car um and getting it ready to race and then it's not even that far away from race day and i think the race it it's on the 24th so it's only a couple of weeks away we can kind of pull our foot pull our finger out um yeah but yeah thanks for watching and i will catch you in the next video i got loads of videos coming up on the fn2 um, probably a couple on the crown as well. So um, yeah, keep an eye out for that. Make sure you subscribe if you have if haven't if you haven't already, and give the video a like if you enjoyed it. And let me know if you want me to do it, um, some more in-depth videos on the cars that I've owned. Um, yeah, and catch you in the next video. Peace out. Thanks for watching.